Welcome all, this is Russ. I just wanted to record a little video to show you actually how to compile a C program by hand because I realized my intro to C video that I posted doesn't show you how to compile because normally you're going to be compiling using the grading script where it's all automated for you. So let me show you if you're on a Unix machine. Here I'm on Lectura. It probably works on Mac, although I don't have a Mac to try. Probably works on the Unix subsystem for Windows. It certainly works on SigWin. If you want to compile, you give the name of your compiler. In this case, it's GCC. Give the name of the program you want to compile, applin.c. And now you're going to give the name of the file you're going to create. It's traditional that if you're compiling applin.c, then you would have an executable named applin. Be careful when you do this not to accidentally, I'm about to type something that's wrong, you do this, you will actually destroy the source file because this is the output file you're writing to. So if you'll notice right now, Applin does not exist. But when I execute it, there's warnings. That's not a problem. But when we do an LS, now there is an executable program named Applin. If I want to run it, I can just do this. I'm not actually going to run it because you need to test it out, figure out what its output is so that you can turn it in for the pre-project. But that's how you can compile it. For the pre-project, you'll only need to compile single files. But if you want to play around with, say, Sim 1, where you'll be compiling some C programs, you can compile multiple files together. So if you had files Sim1.c and also Foo.c and Bar.c, you can compile them together and you could say, My Program. This will compile all the C files together, create an executable that's called my program. When you do this, by the way, only include the C files. Don't include any H files, because if you do, for some technical reasons about how C works, that gets the compiler a little confused. So anyway, I hope this was useful, and I will see you all soon.